we made it. We're back. Nope, never mind. It was there and now it's gone. <laughs> Guys, please. I just I just want to play game. Okay. There we go. We're back. Oh my god, it's because I had Elgato. Okay. Whatever. Monkey. Okay. Um let's get just let's just get this show on the road, guys. What happened last time? We were uh we we did um we had a trip. We went on a trip. Guys, if if people are still freaking out, tell them to refresh. We hit the Zaza. Traveler got zooted, yeah. Um, Traveler had some of that, uh, smoke in that gorilla. He, uh, he was smoking that, uh, Bhutanese Shadow Garden grown, uh, Dark Evil pack. He was smoking some shit that got, uh, watered with the blood of 36 dragons. Subzerker. Oh yeah, we got rid of LA. Nari, refusing to join is tantamount to burying your head in the sand. How is uh game audio compared to um do I need a visa to come to Mexico? If I can get this visa stuff sorted, I can go anywhere. That's legit it. Like if if I get this done, I'm home free for the next three years. I suddenly sound a lot quieter. Uh let me let me uh Is this a bit better? Is this better? Check one, two, one, two. Uh, Telegraph, thank you so much for gifting us up to Zero Kel, and thank you that one girl named Jazz for three months. Really appreciate it. Um, I understand that you're a forest watcher. I'll that crank up the game audio. Combat the effects of withering zones, but isn't it evident that such work is not a last is that solution better? to the problem? As Sage Kaje clearly stated, your presence and guidance in Sumeru City is pivotal in finding a cure for Ermansul. How could you possibly refuse? Hey, what's up? Uh, Claire Nguyen. 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 Thank you so much for subbing. Um, cool. Keep your emotions in check, Gulam. Let's at least listen to Tainari's reason for declining. We're here to invite him to the Academia, Ooh. not to cause a scene. Sage Kaje, I am truly honored that you came here in person, but I'm afraid I Kaje. must decline your invitation. Hey, what's up? Hey, what's up? I am merely a forest watcher. How could the great minds of the Haravitat have any need of someone like me. I'm sure you guys are going to spam the shit out of the I'll hate them stare emote when he shows up. <laughs> well, it turns out that your refusal letter had some implications on your master's reputation. He is a renowned sage of the Immorta, after all. So now I've come here in his stead. About that animation, Z tweeted, I, I just talked about it. I it was great. It was wonderful. Well, I figured that given his temper, he would come here and berate me personally. Tanari, your master is an integral part of this effort. I'm going to just let it out. And now he requires your assistance. And hey, what up? exactly does my master need of me, Sage Kaje? You'll know... Once you've arrived in some You'll cities. know. And Cicada noises, thank you so much for your son. I be required to stay? Uh, there's no and Chupin. Answer, is it now? Thank you so much. Do you mean to tell me that despite coming all the way here to Gandarvaville, you still can't answer the questions I laid out in the letter to my master? If that's the case, then I'm afraid I cannot give you a definite answer either. Tainari, but you... Uh, so be it. Come, Gulam, we're leaving. 
What was Ghulam about to say there? But you, but, but you must! Yeah, we're doing the Sumeru Archon quests, uh, Casey Cookie. It's nothing. Some people from the Academia wanted me to go to Sumeru City to assist them with a project, but I had to refuse on account of all my responsibilities here. But all that can wait. How did things go with Hypasia? How tall am I? Quite the eventful trip. I am, uh, reasonably sized. She answered a bunch of questions for us, too. Very good. Now that the traveler has made I am above the average height of a regular American. Here longer. I assume you will be heading to Sumeru City, correct? That's right. We want to meet Lesser Lord Kusanali and ask her for advice. Um, do you have any idea on how we can find her? Sorry, I'm afraid I don't have any advice for you there. Yeah, I am taller than Izzy. Do you at least know anyone we can try asking in Sumeru City? Let me think. My trips to Sumeru City have been fairly short, and uh, most of my acquaintances are researchers. Oh, how about this? I have a lot of short friends now that I'm, I'm realizing it. <laughs> can give to a researcher I know. He's from the Amor to Darshan. Or rather, shorter than me. Gathering information. Asking him might prove worthwhile. Also, when you enter Sumeru City, you'll probably end up receiving something like this item here. I'm not sure if it will ever come in handy for you, but maybe you can give it a try. Oh, Any reason you prefer speaking English than Spanish? It's just my first language. It's, it's what I'm most comfortable with. Terminal. I'm not nearly as charming in Spanish. By the academia that utilizes the legacy of Greater Lord Ruka Devada. Some say that this item is the very basis of Sumeru's reputation as the City of Wisdom. Needless to say, this device and its usage fall under the academia's expertise. So my vocabulary is more limited because I don't speak Spanish as often. I only talk it with my parents. Oh, this is where we go to to Sumeru City. Okay. I thought we were gonna fuck around in the forest for a bit more. That's right, Kainari. We have something important to say to Kale before we leave. Is she doing better now? Yes. She's doing much better. After being confined to her bed all this time, I thought a little walk would do her some good. Last I saw her, she was taking the path towards the North Crossing. She knew you two would be leaving. How was Zachary doing so the Among Us stream? I wish walk. he could like talk. <laughs> I feel like I haven't like directly spoken to him. It's just Farewell. been text to speech. Good luck to you both. Um. Say goodbye to Kale. Oh no. It's okay, we can salvage this. Do I have a Discord server? I'm working on it. I think in English. Ah, I've been waiting for you two. I, uh, well, uh, oh, I'm sorry for scaring you guys. <laughs> Never mind. I guess I should just wish you two a safe and successful journey. Thanks for waiting here just to see us off, Kale. We're headed to Sumeru. God, Kale's so nice. Um, do I plan to play more Among Us? Yes. Um, but again, it's falling right during this whole Italy thing, so... <sighs> Look, it's, it's like the next two months of my life are going to be a fucking nightmare world. After September, holy shit, things are going to get so much nicer. Like, regardless of what happens... And I think uh, when September, when September, when I wake up, when September ends, um, that's when I'm going to have like a fixed uh, stream schedule. And like, we're going to start, you know, playing some other games, maybe some tangentially related stuff. No, guys, wrong, 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 wake me up. Um, but I do want to do this more. Like I... I wanna, I, that's why I'm like doing the mod, like getting mods and stuff and like starting to add more emotes because I want to do this more. It's fun. What games am I playing on playing on stream? I kind of want to play all four Pikmin games. Um, and also a bit of Street Fighter. Uh, and, 
chat, you can you can be real with me. Would it be masturbatory of me to only play games that I'm in on stream? No. What like what if I went out of my way to be like, "Oh, I did so well that line." Mm. I delivered that line with all the panache of a Shakespearean actor. <laughs> Sayu does it. Look, Alejandro can do whatever he wants, okay? I'm, he can live his life. I can live mine. We don't have to do things the same way. Be called self love. Let's <laughs> not get carried away here. Please take care of yourself, Kale. Don't worry, <sighs> I can take care of myself. My condition won't be getting in the way of my duties. I want to be a forest ranger after all. It's up to me and the others to protect the rainforest here. And uh I mean I don't mind if people uh, compare me with 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 Sai. I should have But it's it's kind of like comparing a a shining paladin of virtue. Like a like a like a hero with like a cave I guess goblin. I understand that the most important thing is for friends to be genuine with one another. There's no need to apologize, Kale. Which one of us is the goblin? Which one of us is the hero? Vote now on your phones. We're probably still gonna worry about your condition, but that's because we're friends and we care about you. Thank you. That means a lot. Uh before you leave. WTF does masturbatory mean? What is it? It's my a, a friendly reminder that this this stream is recommended uh, for ages 15 up. Please don't laugh. Yay! Thanks, Kale. Now we can eat those scrumptious little pitas whenever and wherever we like. I hope that whenever you eat them, you'll are we gonna have the pita pockets in our pockets? Uh, guys, if you have a, a question that is, what does whatever mean? Literally Google that, and Google will tell you. Uh, you you have access to a magical website that answers ninety nine percent of your questions. Use it. You can you can achieve so much just by googling shit. Uh, don't Google image search it. I wouldn't recommend doing that. Um. And make sure that safe search is turned on. Just saying. I don't want. Look, I don't want to get in trouble with any family. Like, and like, I don't want somebody's parents to email me horrible words. Well then, I, Trinity Forest Ranger Kale, bid you both farewell. Please visit Gundarva. You don't have again. to go so the formal, Kale. Be ready to assist you here. Cool. Oh, you get the recipe for pita pockets. I see. Let me cash that sucker in. Let me cash that sucker. There it is. Cool. Uh, so we have to go to Sumeru City. Is there a Dendroculus here? It's probably behind like a like a a puzzle or something. Never mind. What's my AR? Uh that forty three. You you saw it. These are the Amazon Prime wings. Thank you, Jeffrey Bezos, for your contribution. He hand-designed them, guys. Real. True. KKXS Lana. Thank you so much for two, uh, two months of sub. Hot dog. One moment, please, you two. It appears this is your first time visiting Sumeru City. What a dandy voice this man has. That's right. But how did you know that? Because there's currently no information on either of you in the Akasha. 
But no need to worry, that won't prevent you from entering the city. In fact, the Academia conveniently provides each traveler to Sumeru City with a device. No! Perhaps you two have heard of the Akasha before. It's our beloved Greater Lord Rukadavata's lasting legacy. A treasure trove of collected knowledge. So, they have Google. Of Chat member before. The See, they have the Google Academia in this world. One of its most ingenious inventions. The Akasha Terminal. I, I'm guessing this as is Google. As you are within Sumeru's borders, you may use an Akasha Terminal to It is Google! The Akasha ...and access any knowledge you need. I should mention that due to technical limitations, the operation of Akasha Terminals will be much smoother and more effective in large cities, such as Sumeru City and Port Hormos. Oh, so this is the thing that Tainari was telling us about. It sounds pretty amazing. You two are quite fortunate. Until recently, it was standard practice to only issue Akasha terminals to outlanders who spent an extended amount of time in Sumeru. However, this policy was recently changed, and now all travelers are issued one upon arrival. Here are your Akasha <laughs> Rosie Rodeo. Akasha, show me single mothers near me. <laughs> To activate it, simply hold it in your hand and say the following phrase to yourself. <clears throat> May the mighty God bless us with their voice of wisdom. Oh, this is their oh, version of OK Google. If this little doodad lets you access knowledge, maybe we can use it to find a way to meet Lesser Lord Kusanali. Let's give it a try. <clears throat> May the mighty God bless us with their voice of wisdom. Uh, Akasha, uh, pull up, uh, pull up funny meme dog image. Akasha, uh, play Seinfeld laugh track. It clicked, and Paimon suddenly knew how to use this thing. It seems all we need to do is concentrate on what we want to know, and bam, you get it. Oh, that'll come in real handy. Exactly. That is the power of the Akasha. And with that, this is just like detective mode from uh, you both Arkham Asylum or something. May the wisdom of the Dendro Archon always be your guide. Yeah, this is giving me Black Mirror vibes already. We can check the Akasha about Lesser Lord Kusanali. Let Paimon try. Hmm. 500 years ago, the sages found a newly born deity from within some scorched ruins. The deity now resides in the sanctuary of Suristana. They, they found a god? Just chilling? Is that what happened? Okay, next, let's concentrate on asking how to meet her. <laughs> Is Paimon literally Googling, how do I meet God? <laughs> how, how to meet God? How, how meet God? How to, how single, single gods in your area? Meet them now. Desi, thank you so much for subbing. <laughs> Um, maybe I'll indirectly find more information about Kusanali. Oh, smart idea, but what are you going to ask it? <laughs> Can I Google? Why can't Google answer my question? <laughs> um, uh, Lesser Lord Kusanali. Okay. Hmm. You too? Well, glad it's not just Paimon. Think Greater Lord Rukadavada. It can influence your emotions? Yeah, this is definitely a Black Mirror episode waiting to happen. Huh. 
Okay. Could it be because we're outlanders and we've only just arrived in Sumeru? You know, maybe we're not qualified to receive an answer to this sort of question or something. <sighs> well, seems no matter which way. Um, we my try, favorite Black Mirror episode is uh, White Bear. That'll lead us to Lesser Lord Kusanali. Guess our only choice now is to try meeting with the researcher that Tainari recommended. He's from Sumeru and even has a position in the academia. Maybe he'll be able to access more info. I haven't watched the last season yet. I heard it's really good. I need to catch up. I I I need to uh I need to watch some more. White Bear is really creepy, but that's kind of why I love it. It's like the payoff of that episode is fucking amazing. Yes, that's me. Can I help you? Great. you I can literally you hear the answer? difference in microphones in my in my headphones. What? Tainari? I uh, please, th there's no need to say anything, really. Sure, I admit that the article I published last month wasn't my best work, and maybe the data didn't produce the most convincing results, but uh, we're not here to ask that. We're we're not nerds like you, nerd. Yeah. Let me see. Ah! Ooh, what a relief. You two nearly scared the life out of me. So, you two just have some questions for me? Seems even Tainari acknowledges my innate ability for procuring information. So, what is it you two would like to know? We want to meet with Lesser Lord Kusanali. Do you know we want to see the face of God. Can you help us? You mean you want to meet the Dendro Archon herself? Uh, this isn't exactly my area of expertise, but let me see what I can find in the Akasha. Mm, accessing database. Sorry, the Akasha didn't respond to my query. What? You too? But what about your abilities for getting information and all that? Uh, I'm always sure you'd be able to access more info than we did. Well, as I said, this isn't my area of expertise. I am but a lowly researcher, so the Akasha doesn't see a need for me to know more about the Dendro Archon. Okay. All I know is that ever since Lesser Lord Kusanali returned to Sumeru... <laughs> Google, show me the, this guy's... Sorostana <laughs> made a public appearance. Caboose Cobalt, I was trying my hardest not to quote Eric Andre. <laughs> Thank you so much for your sub, Lily Otter. The Dendro Archon is somewhat of a recluse. Perhaps she just doesn't want to entertain visitors, which would explain the lack of information in the Akasha. Kasha, could you kick up the, uh, 4D, 3D, 3D? <laughs> no need to worry just yet. I'm only hypothesizing here. You could certainly Kasha, could I get a hat wobble ideas. and a flargan style? You two should consider the bright side of things. Not being able to see Lesser Lord Kusanali may not be a bad thing. In this world, there will always be information you cannot obtain from the Akasha and things you can never accomplish. <laughs> Knowing when to yield is a form of wisdom. Take me, for example. It's a miracle if my brain cells can spit out one paper every three years. But Tainari? That guy can publish three papers. I'm quoting a, a video called Celery Man featuring Paul okay. Rudd. It's a Tim and Eric skit, nice. and I highly recommend it. Don't mention it. If you two ever want information about things like who's been promoted within the academia or relations between the six great states. Kasha, boot up Celery Man real quick. Hey, come on. This is a survival skill at the academia. Oh, Paimon's expectations were pretty low, but this is so low, it's like digging holes in the dirt. Oh. So what do we do now? Even if we want to talk to someone, we don't know anybody here. There's still one person we do know. Huh? Like who? All right. Oh. I, I completely forgot that there was an adventurous guild in this city. <laughs> Ask Catherine for help. Do I hate the Fatui? Not like they haven't they haven't insulted me on a personal level yet, so no. 
I'm sure they all change when Juanderer shows up. Ad Astra Abyssosk. Hello, Traveler and Paimon. Catherine, we need your help with something. Understood. The Adventurers Guild is always ready to serve you. With what do you require assistance? We want to meet with Lesser Lord Kusanali. Do you know a way we can do that? You two wish to meet with Sumeru's Archon. Understood. Please wait. Yeah, try not to post spoilers in chat, guys. There might be people here that haven't played this far. So I be apologize. respectful of them. But I am unable to call up any relevant information in the Akasha. I'm also unable to locate any pertinent information in my personal memory. Aww, another dead end. Well, if Catherine can't help us, then we really don't know anyone else to ask now. Please do not worry. I may know of someone who can help you two. In Sumeru, the Adventurous Guild does not serve as the vanguard of information. Rather, there are numerous active mercenary groups collectively known as the Eremites. They take on various contracts and work all across Sumeru, so they naturally accrue intelligence. An Eremite brigade called the Corps of Thirty is in charge of Sumeru City's defenses. Not only are they the oldest brigade, but they are responsible for Do Sino jokes count as spoilers? You mean puns? Brigades. Core of 30? What a weird name. It's just but 30 supposedly. dudes. They are named as such because their ranks numbered 30 at their inception. Asphant, an advisor with the Core of 30, maintains good relations with the Adventurers Guild. Though he's already retired, he and his words carry great weight within mercenary circles. If you'd like to get in contact with him, you can find him at the Core of 30's headquarters, the Citadel of Regzar. You're welcome. I wish you two the best of luck. We look forward to your exploits in Sumeru. Cool. Regzar? Oh, that's still in the city. Got it. Is it? Oh, it's over here. Yeah, I'm going through the Archon quest, guys. We're experiencing the story well, with my bright, beautiful, new baby boy eyes. It's nice to meet you, Asfan. We'd like to ask you about something. Baby girl eyes, right, sorry. I see. So, Catherine's the one who sent you this way. Uh, <laughs> It's true that the Aramites' network is vast, but even I can't help you meet the Dendro Archon. Wait, seriously? Yes, That's Alicia. It? I'll be doing uh, I'll hate them story so, quest and Kaveh's hangout after this. Or uh, this being the Archon quest. <laughs> as far as the Akasha goes, we can access even less than you. We originally came from the desert. The gods there died off long ago. Since those days, we've used our own two hands to carve out a living. We don't beg gods for their aid. Whoa. It isn't just us, though. If you ask me, I think most in Sumeru aren't interested in lesser lord Kusanali. Oh? Why's that? Just take the Academia, for example. They're the ones who truly rule Sumeru. Although they believe in gods. How have I been chilling? I could be better. But I'm hanging in there. In their eyes, she was the one who founded Sumeru and gifted us with the Akasha. Lesser Lord Kusanali just happened to inherit her legacy. Because of the Academia Sin. As I mentioned before, the next two months are going to be kind of shitty, kind of busy, kind of hectic. And hold her in but uh, I just have to withstand them until to uh, October, and then I'll be fine. Sinali never makes an appearance, and the Academia never announces anything about her. As far as the people of Sumeru are concerned, she's just a god that exists, and that's all. I'm comfortable with whatever pronouns you want to give me. After hearing all of that, Paimon sort of feels 
I've mentioned it in a previous stream, but I'd like to be seen as Ben before uh, any gender or anything. We're all just guessing when it comes down to it. Besides, I'm sure the God of Wisdom doesn't worry about her reputation among people like us. All right. Well, thanks for the info, Aslan. <laughs> no problem. Always happy to help out the Adventurers Guild. Minhikaru13, thank you so much for the sub. Oh, it just skips ahead. It's just like, yeah, you, 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 you ask everybody about stuff. Seems Aslan was right about most people's ads. I haven't seen Barbie yet. Oh, that's that's nice to hear. Uh, ki Kiwi Bin. I'm sorry I don't have um, better advice than Lamau. Have fun. Everything seems. But isn't there at least one person I have Kennergy? City who cares about Lesser huh. Lord Kusanali? Oh, uh, you two are interested in Lesser Lord Kusanali? Huh? Who are you? From the sound of it, you two are outlanders who recently arrived here. You've been asking around for information on Lesser Lord Kusanali, right? Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot to introduce myself. I'm Dunyar Zod. One of Lesser Lord Kusanali's You're doing followers. what? Whoa, really? Then do you know how we can meet with her? My Zod? I'm afraid I can't help you with that. <laughs> but your conversation earlier did happen to remind me of a legend about the Dendro Archon. Can you tell us the legend? Sure. It goes like this. Long, long ago, there was a man who heard a prophecy. It predicted that a great calamity was about to befall him. Panicked by what he heard, the man sought out the Dendro Archon in the hopes that she would bless him with the wisdom to help him escape his predicament. The man journeyed across deserts and through rainforests and experienced tribulations. I see a lot of people like kind. this character. However, in chat, he still couldn't find any trace of the Dendro Archon. In despair, he thought, "Alas, the Archon has abandoned me." He then had no choice but to sorrowfully resign to his fate. Okay. And then what happened? And then the calamity came. <laughs> but to his own surprise, the man felt somehow emboldened by the trials of his journey. By relying on his own strength, he she should have been playable. That's high, uh, At that high moment, regard. A bird perched upon his shoulder. This bird I do wish some of the fat, the bigger NPCs had like Archon. unique models. Said, oh, Archon Seeker, do you now understand? She and her wisdom. Because she has like the same face model as everybody else, you know. Along your journey, we were in every flower and blade of grass, every ray of sparkling sun, and every breath of dancing wind. So long as you continue to think and ponder, we'll be wherever you go. <laughs> what a story, Dunyarzad. Yeah, thanks for the story. <laughs> feels Come on, Paimon, let's go home. <laughs> uh, in a way, it seems like this story is also one of the Dendro Archon's avatars. Dunyarzad, since you worship Lesser Lord Kusanali, can you tell us anything else about her? Of course. So, did you two know that, uh... That, uh... uh I'm, I'm terribly sorry, but it seems something's come up now. What did you see? Uh, let's chat another day. What did you see? What did you see? What happened? Where are you going? Hey, wait! Uh, what the heck just happened? It looks like they're searching for someone. Hmm. Dunyarzad was acting super nervous just now. Why are you running? Her? Why are you running? It stinks! We finally managed to find a lead about Lesser Lord Kusanali! We can't let them get in the way now. <sighs> Let's see if we can get rid of them. Then we can catch up I did, Cameron, but I didn't finish it. And I want to finish it. Brown hair girl wearing a purple top and a long blue dress. We're looking for her. Uh, did she have bandages wrapped? Yes, I've also seen Disaster Artist, but I prefer the book. Yes, that's her. Did you see which direction? The Disaster Artist book is amazing. Uh, yeah, sure. Really good if you want to read about the room. Quick, after her. And it's like surprisingly like uplifting. It's a very very fun read.
Okay. Catch up with Dunyarzad. Have I watched Oppenheimer? I haven't been to the, the last movie I watched. Uh, was Slam Dunk. Which uh, I wanted to see if I was bad. And the consensus was no, I wasn't bad. Oh, it's you two. Oh, you startled me there. Yeah, that was a fun time on life. You can relax now. We threw those people looking for you off the trail. Corinna does such a good job with this character. Thank you so much. Unfortunately, I believe there's still more of them out there looking for me. Uh oh. Oh fuck so yeah. Some coming this way. It's cool that you got free tickets for it. I don't have a Discord server yet. It's under construction. Please look forward to it. No, wait. I uh, my body isn't in the best shape. Uh, it's difficult for me to run. Uh, d does she also have Elazar or whatever? I've, uh, that's my guess. You, you guys don't have to answer my question. Probably wouldn't. I, I like to. I like to ask out loud my my thoughts. A uh, FNAF movie, I... I'm curious about it. I might go watch it with friends just to laugh at it. I'm not gonna watch it to be spooked because I don't get spooked easily. I get startled easily because loud noises just, you know, they make me jump. But, um, I don't, I don't get spooked. I was thinking for October, I kind of want to, like, just play spooky games all month. You got jump scared of the Barbie movie? How? Oh, we made it. Oh, they shouldn't be able to find us now. Wait, oh. stand down, Dia. Oh, hey, it's it's y you, the character that didn't turn out so good gameplay wise. My lady, who are these two? God, she's got such a great design too. The travelers that I met on the street just a moment ago. Oh wait, yeah. I'm Miss Dunyarzad's bodyguard, here to see that she returns home safe and sound. <sighs> My lady, Gamers. let's get going. You've been gone for so long that your parents are worrying themselves sick. And if I refuse to go with you? Then perish. It's easier for the both of us oh, if no. you cooperated. But if you insist on not going, then I'll have to carry you like a sack of potatoes. <laughs> hey, Junior Zod already said she doesn't want to go back. Why are you still pushing her? Stay out of this. You don't understand this. I, I thought Dia got like Sorry, introduced way I'm later in the story. Is she really like one of the I first was. characters that got introduced? I have to answer to them. How much? Wait, what? How much more do I have to pay you to become your employer? So you never listen to my parents ever again. Double? A triple? Give me some time and I'll get that much. I guess my they just wanted to get all the more. uh the Dendro characters out first. Think of us Aramites, but let me say this: I like Mora, but I'll never go against my. But it's weird that um. That's why I'm here looking for you. I'm blanking on her name. It's an order from my employer, but my conscience was also telling me it's the right thing to do. Um. And knowing your health. Hydro Nilu, yes, thank you. It's weird that Nilu released before Dia. No, you're wrong. But Dia was introduced in the story before Nilu. Honestly, the only people being stubborn right now are my parents. And they know perfectly well that it makes no difference if I'm at home or not. They still won't accept reality. And every time I bring this up, they just change the subject. Dia, you've been living with us a long time already. This should be old news to you. That's true. <sighs> Dia, I know it hasn't been easy for mother and father. And I'm grateful for- Yeah, setting up for Bloom makes a lot of sense. There's someone else in this world I'm also grateful to. Because she saved me. The love I have for her is the same I have for my parents. This is my life and my last chance. So I want to do something... I guess Burn isn't as exciting as uh, Bloom. So, that makes sense. 
My lady, are you sure what you're doing now is meaningful? Yes, I'm sure. At least, it is to me. <sighs> Fine, I won't Virgin ask you to too, yeah. home anymore. But I'm talking like full straight Dendro, clear. Dendro I'm plus Pyro. Because I respect your determination, not because I agree with you. Thank you, Dia. <sighs> Sorry for being so rude. Just I now. wish like Burn was more and exciting, you know. And I even brought up your payment. Such an offense. I wish it wasn't just like a like a damage over Don't time. I wish it did lady. something else. I did say that I like Mora. Besides, that's our next topic of conversation. Today's little excursion caused such a ruckus that every single bodyguard at the estate was deployed. It wouldn't be easy. Like to having burn spread no would be pretty cool. Like having it go from like enemy to escape. enemy. Here's a little tip. You should at least make it look like your room and things are still in order when you leave. Also, you'll need someone to cover you for when you're out and about. So, I'll let you hire me, my lady. This way... Yeah, it does. I mean, yeah, I, I guess it does spread when the heat Let's say half of what your father pays me. We can settle the bill when we return to the estate. Okay, deal. God, I just want Geo to be, like, something that isn't just crystallize. I want volcanoes. Make Pyro plus Geo be volcano. Eruption. Make make that the name of the the reaction. I'm fine, really. I, I just feel a little tired now that things have calmed down. <sighs> My lady. And Geo so plus Dendro, like. We're already in a tavern. So tree. Up and grab some grub. I don't know. <laughs> I'm sorry for worrying you too. If you don't mind, I'd like for you to join us. Sure. After you rest up, we want to hear more about Lesser Lord Kusanali. Geo plus Dendro equals Sandstorm? I mean, wouldn't that be more uh, Geo uh, plus uh, Animo? Geo plus Hydro Mud? Yeah, I mean, like, you could make it slow or something. Haven't seen you in nearly half a year. Word on the street is that you're a bodyguard for the Homayani family now. You're a bodyguard. Don't you find that kind of work boring? Boring. Yeah, you get used to it. I like this guy's voice. A menu over here. You got it. Huh? Isn't this little Miss Homayani herself? <laughs> we don't get to serve personages like you very often. We'll be sure. Geo plus Dendro Moss? Best. Thank you, sir. But Moss would be no interesting. Need. I don't have a lot of Mora on me, and I really ought to save as much as I can. Uh, but please bring these two the best food you have. They're my new friends, so I want to be a good host for them. <laughs> Lichen reaction. <laughs> um, what's my favorite line to record is Kave? All of his uh, teapot lines. Uh, him critiquing your, your lodging. Um... All those were fun to do. But also all his combat lines. I like just doing combat efforts. It makes me feel really cool. Don't worry about it. We'll pay for our own food. Wait, Monkey. Paimon, we have like 8 million Mora. Calm down. How about our charcoal baked Ajelena cakes? They're our signature snack. Reviewing teapots from chat would be really fun, but I'm very easily impressed. So I think all of them would be me going, Wow, this is really cool. Wow, this is really cool. Wow, this is really cool. <laughs> so it would just be like an hour of me just doing that. Unless you have nothing, and then I'm, I'm like, why? Why? Hello? Picky Paimon. Now that's a first. Hey, come on! Paimon has personal preferences too, you know. <laughs> Good timing on that. Ooh. During our dive, we asked a lot of people when we first arrived, and almost nobody was interested in Lesser Lord Kusanali. So, what made you want to follow her? Well, remember when you asked me if I knew how to meet the Dendro Archon? Even though I don't know how, I. Paciencia, Kelko. Pronto tendrás acabe. Really? Yes, it Ten fe. was a child. At the time, my illness had kept me bedridden for the better part of a year. I was stuck inside and couldn't make any friends, and my parents did their best to find treatments for me. 
But even then, the Akasha didn't have any helpful information. My younger self. <laughs> I like how it used to be favorite Genshin character and then favorite Genshin character in parentheses besides Kave, and now it's favorite Genshin character besides Kave, and I'll hate them. Is there a specific one you guys are trying to get me to say? Because, um, I guess my third favorite would be, um, who's, who, who do I like? Just trying to... I do like Sino. I, I just haven't met him in the story yet. <laughs> Gamers right on top of, uh... This art is really nice, by the way. Um, how do I explain this? You might not be able to understand, but actually, I know everything about you. Favorite Genshin character with an eye patch? Oh, Beto. Hands down. Actually, yeah, I would say Beto is my my third favorite. She's really cool. And that you love counting the petals on your mom's skirt. Wow, you really do know everything. <laughs> Did you expect Kaya? Think again, Chad. What? Not really. I, I can't go anywhere or do anything. Huh? Favorite but Archon? Um. All children have wishes. And Zhang Li is all right. What you want, and maybe I can make it happen. Then, uh, can you make my illness go away? Oh, I'm sorry, but I'm least favorite element right now is Geo. In terms of game, like gameplay wise, I would say Geo is my least favorite. Most favorite element, uh, gameplay wise, would be Dendro, just because there's so many cool applications that, of it. The voice said, "Okay, I'll be." It's a very like flexible element. Although my body was suffering during those days, and I kind of wish every element had as much cool interaction as Dendro had. Beyond my window was the flourishing Sumeru city. Beyond the city was a lush rainforest. So, so basically, like, I like Dendro for the opposite reasons that, like, I would like Geo. Like, Geo just does one thing, and Dendro does a million things. I couldn't hear that voice anymore. I told my mother about it, but she said that I must have been dreaming. But I know that that Favorite cryo character? I don't have her, but I really want to get Ayaka, because she's Virgil, Virgil cool. Favorite weapon type is anything sword related, either short sword or claymore. I like swords. It's probably because I'm saber. Um, gamers. If this game ever adds guns, that would be pretty cool. Skyvless, thank you so much for the tier two sub. Enjoy your horrible emote. It's just the one. I'm adding a tier 3 sub emote, too, which has some lore behind it. Um, you'll see it when it gets approved. It's really bad. I'll post it in chat when it's ready. Favorite pyro character? Um, fucking... Fucking, uh... Um... Uh... Uh... uh, uh um. Uh. Um. Hmm. Hu Tao. Yeah. I was gonna roll for her, but I was saving for Kave. <laughs> Hehehe. I like Berserker style characters. So I, I just the idea of her like getting stronger with lower health is really good. Uh, Yoi Mia, I love her personality, but I I played her and it did, it didn't really click for me. What's my favorite drink to down at a bar? A Long Island iced tea. Yes, for sure. If it weren't for that voice, I would have never grown curious about the outside world, nor would I have learned how to read and enjoy so many books. That voice sparked a desire for oh, wisdom. thank you, Meg, for, it had to have for the been Voicing Sakuragi, Sakuragi was a, a joy. Her kindness. 
In fact, I was running around today to help prepare the Subzerus festival for her. No, si, si, si hacen doblaje al español para este juego, de todas maneras me encantaría ser cada de nuevo. She was found by the sages. It's actually an old holiday that originally celebrated Greater Lord Wupitabata's birthday. When she passed away, it eventually became a celebration. Sería igual, o sea... I heard everyone was se volvería cabe cabe chileno se volvía canon <laughs> Porque no, no sé si podría hacerlo con con español normal Thank you so much for the 101 biddies Uh good luck on your on your cave cosplay I hope it turns out cool the academia actively participates in Sumeru's many holidays dedicated to Greater Lord Wupitabata. But when it comes to the Subzerus festival, forget it on Monday. They practically act like it doesn't exist. Maybe they see Lesser Lord Kusanali's Al birth as Al a of Greater Lord Wupitabata's death. So You're pulling my leg. To celebrate it. Aww, but that's awful. It is. It's absolutely terrible. Oh, you watched Hell's Paradise? I hope you enjoyed it. I I had a lot of fun voicing uh, Tenza. For the past few hundred years? <clears throat> Just remember that we're still out in public. Don't get too carried away now. I know that people over by the Grand Bazaar still hold the Subzerus Festival to this day. But I have Honey Thorn, thank you so much for the sub. Before, so I was never able to contribute. But recently, I made a friend there who also follows Lesser Lord Kusanali. I gave her my savings because I want her to throw a El Almacén de al <laughs> That's the least I could do for Lesser Lord Kusanali. Hold on, my lady. Does this friend happen to be Nilu, the one who sends flowers to the estate? <gasps> Nilu name her. drop. Mm, I saw her leaving the other day with a nervous look on her face. It seemed like she was hiding something in her arms. Did you give her something? Uh, yes. Uh, initially, I didn't have. Much yeah, that's not the best show to pick favorites in. So I'm sorry. <laughs> I've agreed with Nilu to meet up at the Grand Bazaar today, and see how things are coming along. Dia, would you accompany me? Sure. That's quite the trip, though. I'll carry you. No, that would be too much. Oh, Princess Carrie. You might as well just accept the lift. If I let you walk, who knows how long it'll take us. And if anything happens to you, then I'd really never hear the end of it from your Can father. we also be carried? But of course. And Excellent. I'm thrilled to hear there are more people interested in Lesser Lord Cusinelli. Yeah, it feels like we are third wheeling. Go to the Grand Bazaar. Do I still celebrate the 18th of September? I haven't done so in like the last nine years or something. Yeah, I'm in Attack on Titan. I'm a uh, Surma. That dude with glasses who is part of the uh, the recruits that get re um, brought into the Jaegerists. Wait, did you guys not know this? <laughs> yeah, I'm an Attack on Titan. I'm that dude with the glasses. At one point, um, Toonami used my screaming. Like, there's a part where Surma gets grabbed by, uh... By a, uh, a Titan. And, like, he, I just screamed my lungs out. And, like, Toonami used that as part of, like, a, like a, a bump. It was really cool. I have, like, the video of it saved somewhere. Is my favorite attack on Titan character? Jean. Sorry I'm late, Milu. Oh, doing your Zod. Oh, there she is. It's so long that I assumed you got trapped at home, but you made it in the end. Uh oh. But if Dia's here, that means you got caught. Right? Oh, I keep forgetting the cheer. You could say that soon. But everything worked out. Just a just a second, because I want to, I want to pay attention. <laughs> uh, not completely. Oh, and who are these two? Oh, meet the Traveler and Paimon, my two newest friends. <laughs> They're visitors who just arrived at Sumera City and are looking for information on Lesser Lord <laughs> Kusanali. <laughs> so you're followers from another land? Oh. <laughs> uh. Yeah. That's wonderful. You two absolutely mustn't miss the Subzerus Festival. 
By the that was way, a weird Daniels, pause that the auto did there. already started decorating the Grand Bazaar. It looks spectacular. <laughs> Thanks to your generous contribution. You're very welcome. It's the only thing I could do. You almost dropped your do soap? You still have enough mora? Are you... Uh, what? Probably? Are you... But don't sweat. Are you w watching... We've finished renovating what? the stage. Come on. I'll Why are you... I'm not even gonna... I'm, chat member, I'm not even gonna ask. I'm sorry. Oh, soup. Did I misread that? I'm sorry. You almost dropped your soup? Listen, it's been a long day. Guys, I'm... it's been a long day, okay? <laughs> wow! This place is amazing! <laughs> Not bad. Stop. <laughs> Last time I was Stop, good, okay? So it's been a long day. <laughs> the stage was nothing. A little while ago, you discovered that the tree above the stage had a huge I'm just a little guy. Ready to I'm just a little, just a little baby just boy. I was worried sick. <laughs> We reported it to the academia. Guy, no, stop ooking. Nilu's on screen. Don't interrupt her. She's too nice. We anything bad happening, so we were going to cancel all the stage performances. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna let you guys get it out of your system. <laughs> I made you spit out your mac and cheese earlier. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All these people, like, having food stuff happen, terrible food things happen, as I'm, uh, as I'm streaming. I guess don't eat food near me. <laughs> Ratatouille Ben? I don't, I don't understand. It's my favorite Sino joke. I don't, I don't know. I need to get to him for good timing on those. Ooh, the ooh, ooh. Oh, probably. Yeah, you guys need to save your points for when Nalhatham shows up. The academia looks down on performers like us. They probably think it would be best if the theater closed down completely. Oh, bye, Deco. Thank you so much for stopping by, and have a good night. Not only would everyone involved in the theater go hungry, but then we wouldn't be able to hold the Subzerus Festival anymore. Thank the Dendro Archon for doing your Zod. But the more she gave us, we hired someone to patch up the tree. And we also gave the stage a much needed makeover. The stage is going to be even prettier when it's festival time. I can't wait for you to see it. And I can't wait to see Does Alhaether show up in the you first patch so or already. it's almost time for your dream to become reality. <laughs> it's our dream. I'll do my best for the two of us. He does? Okay. Nilu, what are you going to be doing at the festival? Relatively soon. The gotcha. Subzeros, the most important performance at the Subzeros festival. Dunyarzad, have you told him the origin of this holiday? I only told them about the Greater Lord and Lesser Lord so far. Okay. Then I'll tell you two about how this holiday came to be. Aw, oh, shit. According Lord legend, Dump. The Sabzerus Festival was originally the Goddess of Flowers' birthday celebration for the Greater Lord. A long, long time ago, on one of Greater Lord Rukadevata's birthdays, her friends threw her a celebratory banquet. Some of the gods got drunk. Then started playing music, <laughs> Some of the gods the got Lord drunk. started singing, so the Goddess of Flowers began to dance. As she danced upon the One of the grass, gods got shit faced and said, so Oh, yeah, it is. Okay, <laughs> it's Venti. <laughs> Venti got shit faced and said, So, anyway, here's Wonderwall. All the gods clamored, Oh, if only time could stop at this very moment. In Shin Megami Tensei 4, which route would you definitely choose? Um, probably. I mean, neutral is. I, I prefer the neutral route. But I like chaos too. The law ending in four really sucks. Who's been my favorite character to voice act? Don't make me choose what my favorite child is. I love all of them. Um. But Sakuragi in Slam Dunk was, uh, definitely one of them. And Kave too, and. Um. Uh, some characters in a thing that I can't talk about yet. Would I like to voice someone in Honkai? Yeah, of course. Of course they did. Of course. When people mention the gods, 
I always think of the Arkham How was voice acting Zahokten? Uh, really cool. Also had happy times. I didn't think I'd get into Although Demon Slayer, but then I did. <laughs> preserved in our tradition of dance. This outfit I'm wearing is apparently based on how the goddess of flowers looked. Though we're just tiny people compared to the divine, we still have The direction for Zahokten sure was like, you have to be seething all the time. And inside my head, I'm just like, Lamau, seething, malding, streamer rage. wishes to the Dendro Archon. I also noticed that you went the extra mile and scattered Patisaras around the stage. <laughs> they symbolize the goddess of flowers, after all. It's just a shame that all the real Patisaras went extinct after her death. Yeah. The Greater Lord brought forth Patisaras in memory of the goddess of flowers. But she ultimately... Malding, balding, holding. <laughs> Thinking about the goddess of flowers dance makes me wish I could have seen it. What made me upset is that I really wanted to get Zahuktan's figure from the Crunchyroll store, but it, they were sold out by the time I find out I found out that I was playing him. And yeah, don't don't post your age in chat, guys. We don't need to know how old you are. Interested in the Sabzerus festival? Will you two be coming? All of Lesser Lord Kusanali's followers will be there for her birthday. It'll be a good opportunity for you to learn more about her. I've heard so many people talk about uh, the the Subzeru's festival, so I, I'm not sure what exactly it entails. Hey, come on! There's nothing wrong with enjoying a festival. Yeah, don't even do it as a joke. Besides, it's, Lord it's not even a funny joke. She'll be happy to have more people who are celebrating it. Jokes are meant to be funny. <laughs> so how about we all attend like the whiteboards are remarkable. Together. Zod, let me show you which stage decorations we've picked out so far. Traveler and Paimon, if that doesn't sound interesting to you... I, I found out how to make it so when I Everyone press the, the funny Zod button again, it cuts off immediately Zod. instead of fading out. And like, that's enhanced the comedy of my stream deck in case, infinitely. Oh, I have to just talk to people about it now? Dancing at the Subzeru's festival. As a child, I even asked my grandmother why we put my grandmother. I'm gonna be skipping through Lord some of these, Rukadavata or rather reading through them the and just skipping and the voice, because I do want to pick up the pace of teens. Even its appeal over the years. Hmm. That is. Uh, I don't know when the Uno stream is gonna happen. Uh, thank you so much, Skyless, for the hundred bits. Why did the architect get ink on his finger? To get a blueprint. <laughs> Thank you for the bits. Yeah, uh, I don't know when the Uno stream is happening. Um, it's... We talked about it for a bit, and like I think people just got busy. Um, maybe after I've moved. And like I'm in my new digs, we can probably get that going. Did you know that the Sabzeris festival is about to happen? Clip bait? What are you talking about, dude? Dang, they're on to me. I'm baiting for clips. Okay. Cool. Things are really shaping up, and there's a buzz around the festival this year. We're expecting people from all over to come by this year and buy things during the festivities. Don't be fooled into thinking that some Do I make a special dish? I can make fondue. Some festival snacks. That's my special cooking skill. I can bizarre. make some bomb ass fondue. And when it comes to musicians, dancers or singers, the Charmander, thank you for the 35 the best bits. The best. Sure those folks Hey, what did the fish say when it kitchen, swam into the wall? Damn. <laughs> Thank you for the bits. Really appreciate it. That one it wasn't even that good, I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I gave you the laugh track for half a second there, but I don't know. That one wasn't that one was kind of amazing. Uh, There's also something different about you from when we first met up. <laughs> I thought I'd add a little extra pizzazz to my dress for the festival. See? Uh, Amphibia! 
Thank you so much for the tier one sub. Really appreciate it. Um, wait, I've got one for you guys. Hang on. Um, I spilled some spot remover on my dog. Now he's gone. Wow, did you sew all that yourself? Uh huh. Sewing is a fundamental skill for everyone in the theater company because we make all our own costumes. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know that Mr. Zubair not only came That one's uh, from Mitch Hedberg. The late and great Mitch Hedberg. He he's um, he's one of the best. <laughs> I've noticed that you can't keep your eyes off this crown. Um Would you like to try it on? Millie girl, thank you so much for the prime sub. Really appreciate it. Um Chris I'm trying to think of another funny pun. I recently triple crowned Kave with a full set of Paradise Lost on him, and I'm so proud of myself. Congrats, Rat Girl. Thank you so much for the 45 biddies. May I? Of course. The legends say that the goddess of flowers had beautiful horns on her head, so this crown was made to reflect that. Oh. Oh, Junior Zod, you look absolutely stunning with it on. It's like I'm looking at the goddess of flowers herself. Um, uh, this is, uh, this is my step ladder. I never met my real ladder. Chris Scott? That one was pretty good. I like that one. <laughs> yeah, revamping the stage for the festival couldn't have been easy, that's for sure. <laughs> this year's festival to remember. Um, okay, wait. Uh, anime G Gina Linetti, thank you so much for 100 bits. What will Gandalf say if he was a vegetable? You shall not pass. <laughs> thank you for the bits and the joke. Helios the Fatui Harbinger, uh, thank you for the one bitty. I don't know much about the Grand Bazaar, but I do know that the residents here have a penchant for song and dance. <laughs> Two things that the academia... Do I have this open on a second of monitor? Of course. Oh, and the perfume sold around here is a lot better no, than... No, I'm r really before. quickly alt-tabbing the game over and over and over again to, to, <laughs> to re-chat. Are we getting a joke for every bit? I, I that's what people are doing. I'm not. I didn't start this. You guys did. <laughs> what was Forrest Gump's password? One Forrest one. Thank you for the ninety-five bits, Char Charmanders. Uh, I mean, <clears throat> that's uh, what Scott? I've heard at least. Hey, what's up? Hey, how's it going? Um, <laughs> uh, Sailor Mary, thank you for the seven bits. Appreciate it. Hey, is that who Paimon thinks it is? It looks like... <laughs> oh, here comes trouble. Look at the cat dragged in. You get it? It's because her name's Catherine. It's so short for cat. It's, it's funny. It's really funny. <laughs> What it like is Catherine at like a character in this huh. storyline? Come to think of it, Hyman's only ever seen her behind the counter at the Adventurers Guild. This is the first time we've ever seen yeah. her taking a break. Yeah, Paimon was literally telling, saying what I was thinking. Hey, Catherine? Oh, it's Catherine from Catherine, right? Okay. Huh? Oh, hey, it's the Traveler and Paimon. What's shaking? <laughs> hmm. Whoa. Break time Catherine sure sounds a lot less formal than usual. Hyman was still waiting for her to say Ad Astra Ad. Is Ad is, is am Amogus. This is Amogus. She is imposter. It is Amogus. Sure. <laughs> Standing behind Amogus. the Adventurous Guild doesn't require any complicated functions. But. Saying and doing the same old things over and over again can get pretty monotonous. Like watching the same Fontaine movie day after day. Yo, Fontaine mentioned? Fontaine? Fontaine soon, gamers? But 
Take you two, for example. You travel across to Vat to enrich your lives and gain new experiences. Paimon, I think Catherine's been hitting the Zaza. Well, we enjoy traveling across to Vat and all that, but we're mainly looking for clues about his sister. Yes, you should keep searching. Sometimes the answers we're looking for aren't necessarily at our intended destination. Instead, they're found along the way. Are we gonna... Um, I want to know if we're gonna, like, make a movie while we're in Fontaine or something. Like, if they're bringing up Fontaine, like, being a place where movies happen, it, like, are we gonna get to go to a movie studio? Because that would be pretty rad. Huh. Haven't we heard someone say something pretty similar recently? Uh, and we can strike anyway, at that one, too. Because, uh, fuck movie no, studios. not particularly. I guess you could say that I'm loving the recent atmosphere here. If festivals bring happiness to everyone, then that's where their true value lies. Oh, well, it, it, well of course there's gonna be, like, striking and shit. It's based on France. There's gonna be hella revolution. Oh, it looks like it's about time for me to be heading back now. ¿Qué le dijo un techo al otro techo? Techo de menos. <laughs> I wish I had like a Spanish laugh track. All right, we'll see you next time at the Adventures Guild. Oh, by the way, thanks for connecting us with the Aramite. We've already made. Ka ka ka. It's just that it's just the the dude from the 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 Keck W uh emote. The yeah he ah he ah. That's laughs in Spanish. I'm sure you two will get along well with the people here. You've already been blessed by the element of Dendro, after all. You guys know what I'm talking. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. See you around. What like? I wish I had that emote in my chat so I could post it. Hmm. There's something really different about. Catherine today. Very different indeed. There was like one pun that worked in like multiple languages, and I'm trying to remember what it was. I think it was related to cats. Hey, traveler. Paimon. Oh, hey, Thea. What's going on? Oh, uh, the purgatory one, yeah. Purgatorio, yeah. And purgatory. And then like it also worked in French too, I think. I've got something to tell you. My lady knows you're looking for ways to meet Lesser Lord Kusanali, and she's been trying to come up with a way to help you. Well, I have an idea that might help. Are you serious? Can I roll my yeah. R's? <laughs> Rightly so. It might not necessarily pan out, so don't get your hopes up too much. I'll need to take you two somewhere and ask someone some questions. Yeah, it works in Portuguese, too. Of course I can roll my R's in Chilean, dude. Te cachai si no pudiera decir R. No podría vivir. My lady is feeling a little worn out at the moment. Hola, ma, sí. Quiero, quiero arroz. Arroz. Arroz con pollo. No, por Arroz. Arroz. Arroz con cosa. <laughs> so just rather going, Enye. <laughs> uh, is it this way? Uh, awful lot of um, running around and talking. I've no I'd, like it's hitting me now that all we've done is go Took to a different place the in the city and talk to somebody. I that Miss Dunyarzad was only sitting in the port for a while because she was in a bad mood. Anyway, I guess I should be thanking you. I haven't seen Miss Dunyarzad that happy in a long time. If it wasn't for you two, she probably would have been caught and dragged back much earlier. 
These shoes sound a whole lot nicer than when we first met, Dia. Who would have thought you had such a soft spot for Junior Zod? Yeah, I, I, I know that this is like the place to um, open up with um, like the lore and everything. Uh, but I feel like it could have been presented in a, in a different, more active way. It's called being a professional. I'm a bodyguard, and I work for whoever. I'm still enjoying it. I'm, I'm liking what the, what the game's putting down. Uh, but I just kind of also want to kill things. <laughs> Look, Dia's blushing. Your, your model can't, doesn't have a blush. Um, Dia, so I can't, uh, I listen, can't, you two. uh... I don't expect to be working for Miss Dunyar Zod very long, but I hope to finish things on a positive note. It actually possible. did blush? I didn't notice. Let's cut the chit chat and head into the Citadel. We'll see if the person I know has a way for you two to meet with the Lesser Lord. You want some ceviches, Zerker? <laughs> I mean, ceviches, all right. According to my parents, oh, I don't yeah, eat fish. It's the smell. I just can't handle it. Adia. What are you doing Adia. here? And well, well. Didn't expect to see you three together. <laughs> oh, Adia. I take it you all know each other already? Mm -hmm. We met this morning after the Adventurers Guild pointed us to Ozfan for more info. No ha dicho ferrocarril? No kidding. Hmm. So, no fish at show. all. I Not even tuna. Tuna smells horrible for me. Anything you can tell him? Like I can't walk by um the uh the fish section of a supermarket without just being repulsed. Like I just uh, the smell just I it do, I just can't handle it. It just smells horrible to me. It's only fish. But it's why I, I like the only kind of fish that I can eat is um fish and chips. Because the uh the batter and the deep fry, um it disguises the smell enough. Rookshaw's gone over to the academia. I wish I could eat sushi, but no, I just can't handle the smell. City ...to begin bolstering its defenses, so people from all over have been called back to the city. <clears throat> Since you've already mentioned the theft, I suppose I might as well tell them what we Shellfish, know. they also have just, like, enough of a smell that it turns me off. Appreciate it, Chief. I really wish I could, because, like, I... I hear people talk about how good lobster is and crab and all that stuff, but like it's just the smell. Like it, it's, I can't do it. Uh, theft? Sorry, what the heck are you guys talking about? Seaweed. I feel like it also has a distinct kind of fishy s smell to it. I don't know. I guess if it comes from the ocean, it just it just has that scent that I just maybe I'm allergic or something, and I'm not. I just haven't realized it yet. Just recently, the Academia lost something, and there's a chance the item is connected with the Dendro Archon. Por otro con Rienda? Might just somehow help you in meeting her. Que no puedo comer por otro por mi por mi crón. Me encantaba la la lenteja, sopa de lenteja in, increíble. Por otro los beans. <laughs> I suppose that's one way to look Pastel at it. Pastel de choclo, yeah, it's alright. If you ask me, me, me da igual. the case is more about the academia than anything else. God, I eat sin. I used to eat lentejas like fucking crazy. Let me fill you in. The academia recently sent a convoy to uh, an I... important package from Aru village. I wanted to, I wanted to like Baya, but I just can't. I don't know, like, I just, I, I it doesn't do it for me. Humita con azúcar, sí, de todas maneras. Lenteja con tocino, sí. Así lo, lo, lo cocinaba mi mamá. What's my favorite dish? Probably shepherd's pie. The Grand Sage took the whole matter very seriously. I know paella is good, but it just isn't for me. 
Con Maduro? Nah, now you're, now you're, now you're losing me. I just think with, with Dosino is fine. Whatever was stolen is currently in Port Ormos. Uh, y sándwich de churrasco en pan blanco tostado con palta. Whew! Good shit. He hecho tanto de menos a Tipi Tap. Es increíble. Quiero volverme a Chile solo para comer Tipi Tap. You two have heard of Port Ormos, haven't you? It's the largest commercial port in all of Sumeru. You can travel there by leaving Sumeru City and heading south along the river. The subtitles aren't subtitling, I'm sorry. <laughs> the Academia's grip isn't long enough to reach... What even is the main Ormos, topic? So the city's a um, more laid back, meaning the population... Here's, here's the topic. Here's well. the topic for you, chat. Who you'll meet there. I, got a, I got a question for you. Empanada de pino... And... Prefiero empanada de queso con azúcar de polvo. Um, here's a here's a here's a question for you, Chad. Um, if you were trapped in a room full of spiders, would you prefer the lights on or the lights off? You're not allowed to kill yourself. You're not allowed. No, you're not allowed to die. You have to remain in this room full of spiders. A lot of people saying on. Okay. I have arachnophobia too, so. I personally would, um. Would say off. Uh, because if I can't see them, uh, they can't see me. That's my logic. <laughs> Screw the rules, I'm dying. <laughs> you can fight the spiders, yes. You can you can try to kill as many of them as you can. Uh non-poisonous, because otherwise this this would the, you wouldn't last, I think. God, I'm trying to there was one hypothetical that I I still vividly remember. It's really fucked up, but, like, every time I've used it, it's led to some incredibly, like, engrossing conversations. It's... Th I got this from Reddit. This isn't something I, I support or anything like that. Just giving it... Just Here's my disclaimer. But how many four-year-olds could you kill before they kill you? So many people were like, okay, how many of them are attacking me at once? Or like, how are there waves? Do I get a weapon? Do they have weapons? And like, there's so much like conversation that comes out of this. Because people start to judge like, how, how well can a four-year-old fight? I think it's the second half that makes it like, relatively okay. Because the first half, you're just a psychopath. Like that's just a psycho, psychotic thing to ask someone. But the second one, it's like, oh, they're they're. This is now a self-defense kind of thing. Have they learned to be? Have they learned they're stronger together? Possibly. They might have watched some TV before that told them about the uh, meaning of friendship. <laughs> Assemble like Voltron. <laughs> a four-year-old Voltron. <laughs> Do they have malice within them? They have the innate cruelty that children have. <laughs> See, look how much conversation this question has provoked out of chat. It's an instant conversation starter. It's really fucked up. But it's just like, dang, people just have so many questions after this. K.A. Karma, thank you so much for the Prime sub. Here's another one. How many, um, who would win in a fight? 10 billion lions? Or the sun? 
Apparently, what was lost has a great deal to do with the Akasha, knowledge, and even the gods. <laughs> wow, everybody's voting Sun. Nobody's on Team Lions. Okay. I see how it is. If you're interested, maybe you can head to Port Ormo. Guys, 10 billion lions is a lot of lions. If you want my advice? That's a lot of lions. Introducing yourselves as students of the academia once you're there. How can they fight the sun? They can do their best. They they will fight they will fight as they as as they have always fought. Are you serious, chief? All the academia I think Shadow the Hedgehog once said, Why should they I will fight as if I as as I always have. <laughs> if you're also interested, just go there and see what happens. No, all the lions are united on their hatred of the sun. And they can all fly into space. Count me out. I've got plenty of work to do here for the Homayani family. Can you... Okay, someone just said the... Uh, told me the formula for the mass of the sun. Can you find the mass of 10 billion lions? <laughs> and take it from me. If you two really Is there are there enough lions in that in those ten billion to uh, to to engulf the sun? <laughs> there are even some extremists who go around shouting slogans. Okay, what about ten trillion lions? Where it is that more and more are joining their movement, they're becoming a real headache for Chief and the others. Because again, a, a trillion. A trillion of anything is a lot. You think ten lions would do the trick? You bet they are. King Dishret's been dead. For They're not sentient lions, now they start but they have an overpowering desire to destroy the sun. They are united in their hatred of the sun. Oh my god, Wholesome Hyena actually did the math. Really? I guess it'd have to be, like, way more than 10 trillion. <laughs> this is just another, like, hypothetical I saw on, uh, on Reddit, by the way. I'm fine. I'm good. Not everyone's like you, Chief. Even the desert natives who abandoned their homes in the wilderness okay. still wish to have a god of their own. So, st okay. Mathematically, the sun would win. But spiritually, I think the lions would win. But McButts, thank you for your tier one sub. Yes, the lions could merge like Voltron. Well, Traveler, that's about all the information we have for you. Thank yeah, power of friendship would win. The sun is incapable of friendship. Since we've gathered all we could for the moment in Sumeru City, let's head to Port Ormos and see what we can find next. Miss Dunyarzad is looking forward to seeing you both at the Subzerus Festival, so be sure to get yourselves back here in time for that. Don't worry, we will. Good. Then we'll see you both at the Subzerus Festival. Uh, for people leaving chat, bye. Thank you for stopping by. Really appreciate it. Now it's making us go to Port Ormos, huh? You know, I I some I know somebody who was involved in uh, renovating that place. Oh, I'm guessing I'm guessing this is. Oh, so chat's getting hype. Here it is. I'm assuming. I came in from the other side. Come and have a good look yourself. Traditional spices of the highest quality, made with pride and experience. I feel like that read should have been a bit more animated. If you're, you know, out in the street getting people uh, to come to your store. But that's just me. That's just me. <laughs> You've got a deal. 
I can't thank you enough for always Holy shit, that's business. that's a big number. Thank you for doing the round of applause for Wholesome Hyena for doing the math on how many lions it would take to destroy the sun. How do you even say that number? Million. Is that like a nontillion? Decatillion? No, it's definitely more than a quadrillion. More than ten? A more billion. <laughs> good job, good job, chat member. Thank you. Believe me, I'm not making this up. Several Eremite mercenary groups are nearly in open conflict. But does the core of thirty care? <sighs> and that's not all. Everybody's Did super chill in Port Ormos. I'm not getting that vibe, Paimon. It's not really that hurly burly. Uh, maybe it's because of what Thea told us earlier, but Paimon can't seem to shake the feeling that there's also danger lurking in these crowds. Where, where is the crowd? All I see is a man. In the background, there's just a man. Who? That? It's just there's a there's there's a man just standing there. Ten sextillion, four hundred forty quanti quintillion, four hundred seventy-one quadrillion, three hundred sixty-one trillion, two hundred ninety-eight billion, nine hundred ninety-nine million, six hundred sixty-four thousand fifty-eight. So here's my question for you, chat: Who would win in a fight, the sun, or ten sextillion, four hundred forty quintillion, four hundred seventy-one quadrillion, three hundred sixty-one trillion, two hundred ninety-eight billion, nine hundred ninety-nine million, six hundred sixty-four thousand fifty-nine lions? Thank you so much for the raid, by the way. <laughs> you guys caught me when I was saying some stupid stuff. Hello, thank you for the raid via Tori. Welcome, raiders. What do you mean the sun still wins? It's mathematically proven, chat. It's been mathematically proven that that many that many lions is enough to destroy the sun. <laughs> it's so <laughs> okay. You guys are clearly biased to go for the sun. They burn. It doesn't matter. It can't. The sun can't burn all of them. It can't burn all of them at the same time. It's like, it's like, it's like that one, um, that one thing that happened ages ago where, where that one dude was like, let's all storm Area 51 together. The police can't arrest all of us. It's literally that, but with the sun and that many lions. <laughs> yeah, alien stock. I, I forgot that was the name that it had. <laughs> I love the sun, by the way. This is just a hypothetical. Yeah, I know the sun gives us life. We worship that fucker, okay? We used to. Can we bring back worshipping the sun? I feel like the sun should be worshipped again. I feel like we should be nicer to the sun. The sun is 10,000 Fahrenheit, and the lion is 100. <laughs> is that the natural temperature that a lion gives off? The, a lion radiates 100 Fahrenheit? So, if you cluster together a shit ton of lions, then they'll, like, produce a shit ton of heat, right? It'll just be, like, a, a sun made out of lions. It's my favorite planet, Saturn. <laughs> Paimon doesn't get it. Won't we look even 
more suspicious going around saying we're academia students and asking about the stolen item? Look, my, my dad's an environmentalist, so, like, I'm also an environmentalist by default. Man, I wish we would stop destroying the world and making it so, you know, I wish we would stop making it so the sun is super hot. Okay, if 10 octillion lions showed up at Area 51, the, obviously they would win. Chat member. Yeah, I did see that aliens got confirmed, but... God, it's, it's fucked up, isn't it? That, like, somebody from the government literally said, under oath, that aliens are real and that space, like, UFOs are weird, uh, are, are real. And I didn't feel anything. And it, it was like, I was like, why don't I feel anything about this? I think it's because somebody from the government said it, and, like, that just makes it worse, somehow. Yeah, like, that's the thing. I was like, wh like, what are we supposed to do with this information? Like, okay, aliens, can I, can I have a little green man in my life now? Can, can I just get a little dude that's like, hey, hey, how's it going? I'm a little alien, hey. Alien BJ, somebody said chat. Cool, we're gonna keep going. Well, given all the people that come through here every day, if there's any information to be found, time on bets we could find it in the market. Let's ask around and see what we come up with. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Uh, how can I help you too? We would like to ask you a question. Um, do students from the academia ever come to Port Ormos? <laughs> of course. You want an alien that sounds like Seth Rogen? Watch Invincible. Students from Sumero City that are about to graduate often come to Port Ormos. I, th I think Seth Rogen plays an alien in that, right? He plays the one-eyed dude that, uh, I think. Does he? I'm pretty sure he does. Many people often talk about how hard it is to get accepted into the academia, let alone graduate. But those who finish their studies and go on to think, Kave, think. researchers at the academia. What will you have after 10,000 years? Sure, we may not be Sumero City, but Port Ormos offers beautiful scenery and a stress free environment. Some even say it's good luck to come to Port Ormos. So students Debt. <laughs> good job. Good job, good job, chat member. Good, uh, powerful first, uh, first uh, message. Ah, you see over there? Those are students from the academia. They look pretty serious. They've been looking worried and miserable ever since they got here a few days ago. If you ask me, the life of a merchant. Everybody in this place continues to be so hella chill. Teaches us what we need? <laughs> think, lions, think. <laughs> It's the sun. Mm. Those students seem to be discussing something. Let's see if we can listen in. I'm trying to think of other funny things at high qual like quantities that could fight the sun. It's no good. I've tried asking around, but I haven't been able to learn anything useful. Not to mention that a bunch of scary-looking Aramite mercenaries have been posted along the streets now. Bees. Ooh. How many bees could fight the sun? 
Also, the song is great. I, I listened to a bunch of it during uh, the event. If we choose to move on our own, then it would be wise to steer clear of them. 35 octillion bees. Especially the group that's constantly shouting some stuff about King Deshred and some resurrection. How many and atomic bombs could blow up the sun? Up Yo, was that an Oppenheimer reference? Called again? Ein something or other? They're called Ein El Achmar. Today, I heard that the thing we're after might be in their possession at the moment. Wait, come again? Don't you see? Many of the Aramites in Port Ormos deal with trading this kind of thing. They're usually pretty well. Makave watched the Barbie movie? Of course, so dude. Students of academia. It's because the kind of goods that students are looking for aren't the kind of goods that Aramites are after. As long as they know you're a student, then deals can be made. Do I watch Jujutsu Kaisen? I watched the first season and then I just stopped because I didn't have time. I've heard that Ein El Hakmar likes to set up shop at the Jafar Tavern. Supposedly, if you're willing to part with half a million Mora, they'll give you info on anything. Wait, wait, I do really want to watch the Barbie million? movie. If information alone costs that much, then how could we ever afford to buy what we're looking for? <sighs> I guess we might as well give up on trying to graduate this way. Who voices Sidu? I feel like I know I recognize his voice. I wouldn't worry too much. Our field of research is very niche. Who else could possibly <laughs> cool. be after that kind of shady knowledge? I've got a question for you. What's here? A kilogram of steel or a kilogram of feathers? Oh, I guess that makes sense. That's the right. Left for us now is to find it's feathers. Out. Why don't we all just pool our money together and pay for the information? Whoa. Did you hear that? A niche field of research and shady knowledge? It all sounds pretty Oh, but they're both a kilogram. Is knowledge yeah, but, something people just buy and But feathers is, like is lighter than steel. But steel is heavier than feathers. Yeah, but they, they're both a kilogram. I don't get it. Whatever was stolen from the academia was also related to knowledge. So, what's your plan? Let's let's try talking to one of the Eremites. Wait, didn't you hear what they just said? Buying information is going to cost us half a million mora. Have you lost your mind? I, I, can I be doing with, with you, Paimon? It's, half a million mora is nothing. I've got like, like seven, seven million or something. Reliable information is worth a worth, worth fucking out worth a worth. I did, is worth worth. I won't let them off easy if it turns out to be a scam. Oh, it's all right. Paimon never thought you'd agree to parting with that kind of mora. But if you know what you're doing, can you can I do a Yorkshire accent? Oh, I can't remember what it sounds like from the top of my head. Oh, Sky of Bliss, thank you so much for the six bits, by the way. I don't know why the alert didn't pop up. Uh, there's a giant dead bug in my craft supply drawer. I must burn down my whole studio. That's... I'm so sorry you have to deal with that. Eleven. Go to... Go to Jaffer Tavern. What does that mean? Jaffer Ta... Is it like a Jaffa cake? Oh, excuse me. A Jaffa cake. There, there we go. Wait, that's, that's not the way. Dude, Jaffa cakes are so good. I love them. How the fuck? Okay, hang on. I'm gonna just zip here, and then I'm gonna jump off the bridge. Let's see, you guys are getting super excited. Better not be, uh... Better not be a Mr. Man coming up in these parts. This is the place we heard those students talking about. 
What other accents can I do? Oh, tons. I can stall here and just say funny things in different accents. Nah, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> oh, you've arrived. Please take a seat. Hey, men. So they think that they can go toe to toe with the boss? Huh. Once we reclaim the power of King Deshret, they'll be the first that the boss punishes. Can I do a New Zealand accent? I can quote a New Zealand video called A Beached Whale. It was, Oh, new brew! I'm beached is brew! Oh, what are you doing, brew? I'm beached brew! Oh, shut, bro! What do you do? Do you want, do you want a chop, bro? A potato chop? I don't eat chops, brew. I eat plinkton. There you go. That's that's New Zealand. <laughs> They're nothing to be afraid of. Our main rival now is the Caracol Battalion. They've the also amassed Battalion. a significant amount of more this time, so we mustn't underestimate them. How can the Caracol Battalion compete with the boss when they're nothing but a bunch of money-grubbing opportunists out for a quick mora? Yeah. With <laughs> Wait, we have an devotion, accent? He'll be able to use this power to bring our god back this time. Are there Kiwis in my chat? Huh. All these guys talk about is King Deshret. So they're probably the ones we're looking What time for. is it over there? Jesus. <laughs> Greater Lord Ruka Devata. That traitor and her followers must not be spared. The day will come when King Deshret exacts vengeance on Sumeru, and all of them shall be punished. What are they talking about? 3.30 a.m.? Guys, you don't have to stay up so late. Jeez. We ask about that if we get the chance later. Bro, I'm just... I'm just sitting here. Hey, you! Huh? Who are you? What do you want? I'm a traveler. A traveler? Yeah. Now's probably not the time to talk Morgan AMX, thank you so much for the Prime sub. I'm a student from the academia. A student? <laughs> What's a student from Sumeru City doing in Port Ormos? I'm out here on a field trip. I'm looking for info about a certain something. Ah, well, if it's info you want, you've come to the right place. The question is, can you afford it? What? What is this? What is this nonsense here? Fifty or five hundred thousand. Uh, hello? Like, what? Huh? What is this? Some kind of joke? <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Sorry! He must have grabbed the wrong amount! Hey, what do you think you're doing? Oh, okay, fine, jeez. Oh, I can't stand this! So much more ago! But there's no other choice right now. Why are we hearing Paimon's <laughs> internal monologue? Rima-chan, thank you so much for the Prime sub. <laughs> Here, this is the merchant's address. Whatever you're looking for, you'll find it there. Hmm? Well, what are you waiting for? I'm just gonna, like, when he when he shows up, I'm just gonna press every fucking sound effect on my, on my stream deck at the same time. Oh, that's right! We heard you mention King Deshret just now. This is gonna be a clusterfuck of a situation. <laughs> Uh, Jay Wool, thank you so much for the prime sub. Fine. Since you've already handed over the Mora, I guess I can throw in a little extra info. As you can see, members of Ain al Ahmar are devout believers of King Deshret. Years ago, King Deshret founded the great desert nation that was our. King home. Deshret is a cool it name. An advanced civilization. I, I'm, I'm, it's a cool word to say, Deshret. King Deshret was the rightful god of wisdom, but he was betrayed by a companion he trusted. She even stripped him of his title, God of Wisdom. So, you mean the traitor was... Among us? Greater Lord Ruka Devata, yes. That shameless wretch destroyed King Deshret's civilization. And our ancestors were forced to flee to this land where we were made to suffer the tyranny of our enemies. 
Furthermore, she conspired with the Academia to cover up the truth of her actions and create the merciful and benevolent facade for which she is now known. Ugh, just thinking about it sickens me. I've got a question, chat. Um, when it comes to Akasha, can people upload their own knowledge to it? Okay. Yes, 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 yes. Sort of. Yes. You'll see. Yes. Okay. Um, no, I was just thinking. Like, I, 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 they're talking about this, and then I, I saw the Akasha terminals, and I'm like, oh. I wonder if, like, this... Me, when I spread misinformation on the Akasha. Um, emoji holding back laughter. But the story doesn't end there. Oh, no. It's a spoiler? Oh. isn't truly dead. The voice of the Oracle has been heard in the desert. Prophesy Helios, thank you so much for the cheer. For the hundred biddies. Mark my words, our God shall... I'm assuming, because somebody said that it's a spoiler, that that will be a plot point that will be relevant later. ...will suffer retribution together. If what I'm saying makes you shiver with fear, it might not be too late for you to become a believer of King Deshret. <laughs> King Deshret is returning? I don't have anything to say to you academia people about that. I think this conversation has reached its end. But enough talk. How about you? Not just yet. This man is a fraud. Chat. Holy shit. <laughs> you guys, it was like, you guys are holding back with all of your... Jesus. Step by step, thank you so much for, uh, for, for the two months of Prime and uh, Comedy Brute for the, for the 50 biddies. Who are you supposed to be? You again? Deranged academia lunatic. Yes, it's me again. I already warned you that if you weren't willing to sit and discuss things with me, I'd take measures to make things uncomfortable for you. Hey, look, it's me. I'm the coolest character in this entire patch. Listen to me. That address he gave you is fake. Or at least, you won't find a merchant waiting for you there. This group has been boasting all around that they can provide information on a certain item as a means of luring people into their territory. So, your first introduction to All Hate Them is literally him going up to you and being like, Hey, these guys ain't shit. Their vibes are whack. Hey, what's up? Once you show up, they keep up the act until they have hard evidence that you want to purchase said item. Then they use that to squeeze you for all the more of your worth. Hey, I don't think he's um actuallying them. He's he's just like, hey, this guy's trying to get your ex your car's extended warranty. Hey, shut it! I'll hate them. What are you playing at? Trying to ruin our business like this? Miss Slothrop, thank you so much for the tier one sub. I told you the other day. I wish to discuss my terms with your boss. This isn't the first time he's done this? Ha! The boss made it perfectly clear that he won't negotiate with you. <laughs> IRL Twitter community note, yes. G that That's good. I like that chat member. Thank you. Yes, and in no uncertain terms. But that was then. It does not preclude him from changing his mind in the future. I'm warning you. Don't push us, or this could get ugly. We don't usually get rough with people from the Academia because it just complicates things. For a lunatic like you, though, we might just have to make an exception. Oh? If you're suggesting that we escalate this from a verbal exchange to a physical one, I accept. After all, even the Archons used war to negotiate the ownership of Tabat. That line right there was the most um, nerd emoji gif I've ever seen. 
<laughs> if you're suggesting that we escalate this from a verbal exchange to a physical one, I accept. <laughs> because the Archons uh, used, to war used war to negotiate the ownership of Tabata. <laughs> like, imagine... Imagine if he if he talked like that all the time. He is that he is nerd emoji talking gif, but he's just fucking ripped. If, on the other hand, we can't agree on any means of negotiation at all, then I'm afraid my next course of action will sting a little more than the mere falling through of a few business deals. I will jeopardize the Aramite's reputation, which I know you value above all else. I am quite confident that if I began to take such action, your boss would willingly approach me himself. However, I fear that by then, some things will have happened that cannot be undone. He's just like, I'm going to kill all of you. It's going to be really, really embarrassing for the Aramites. Also, a word of advice. I suggest you tell your boss exactly what happened here today. Otherwise, he might blame you for not telling him in the future. Also, L plus ratio plus get good plus skill issue plus fuck you. What did you say? All of those things. Consider this. Have I ever failed to follow through on my word in the past? This guy is really out of his mind. <laughs> He's out of his mind. Okay, then. If you really have a death wish, let's meet a week from today. The pier in front of the forest <laughs> lighthouse. <laughs> the shark. Don't expect to hold it Literally, like, schoolyard bully shit. Like, <laughs> oh, you think you're hot shit? <laughs> well, then meet us outside by the playground at 3 o'clock after school. Be there. <laughs> <laughs> Meet us in the parking lot outside of Denny's. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Not so fast. First, you return the 500,000 more to them. Not so fast. Hm. Did he... Did, did he... Did, like, did he give a... I heard a noise. Was that it? Okay, peace out, Incubus. Thank you for stopping by. Liquidized Juice. Thank you for the Prime sub. Please, I beg you. Sleepy Kitten. Thank them. you for stopping by. We Have can't a good night. Any trouble with this crowd? They haven't even paid for their food yet. Ah, <sighs> Mr. Iman. There appears to be fewer staff in the restaurant recently. This wouldn't happen to be because they're all busy spreading the word to the students, would it? I uh, well. Someone who chooses to do business with a group like that really BT Yoshi, thank you for the prime so cluster the instant someone confronts them about it. Consider the meal compensation for our silence. I'd say you're getting an excellent deal. Man. Nazi did such a good job. Oh, did you see that? He not only got us our Mora back, but sent the Emirates running too. Yeah, Paimon, he literally came in and hathed all over the place. Seems to know a lot about what's going on around here. Let's catch up with him and ask some questions. Here we go, wait, after him. After him. <laughs> and this is where he uh, he shoots his uh, his um the bat claw and then flies off into the night. It's Al Hatham, right? It's Al Hassan. Thank you for your help back there. No need for thanks. My goal was to get to them, and you two gave me just the opportunity I needed. We're even. Oh, I advise you to keep your distance from them. Since they weren't able to make off with your Mora in the end, they might harass you again in the future. All right. Goodbye. Uh, just like that? Hold your horses! We still have something to ask you about! No. I want to go home and play Xbox. Since you tore through their scam right in front of them, you must know the real story about a... Ahem... Certain something, no? Who exactly are you two? And why are you inquiring about that? Oh, we can't say this to him. He's gonna fucking know. A student. <laughs> right. Look, you should know that those thugs conducting business with you had nothing to do with your lie. Yeah, well... I know a thing or two about swordplay. Huh? Oh, yeah. You 
is really strong. Weren't you saying something about a physical exchange? We can help with that. Kave, get off the Xbox. It's my turn to play. I want to play Exo Primal. He doesn't even have a vision. Forget it. Maybe not, but he can still use elemental energy. Otherwise, there's no way we'd go asking for info from I'm. I'll. I. Um. From guys like that. <laughs> Marak is the Xbox. <laughs> I need to play Super Monkey Ball right now. I've almost beaten all the master levels. I need to get all those bananas. Those high-headed thugs are definitely gonna bring a lot of backup for your next meeting. Even if you don't go alone, you won't regret taking us with you. Hmm. Uh... Yo, Super Monkey Ball was unironically the shit, okay? I, I loved it. I played so much of uh, 2. <sighs> Alright. I accept. Got a pen and paper? If you're searching for someone who sells that kind of merchandise, I'll give you one of their addresses, and you can try your luck. Uh, RMC Tyke, thank you so much for your sub. And yes, I play Exo Primal. I think it's one of the coolest shooters out there right now. Uh, I wish more people knew about it. If you guys don't know what Exo Primal is, it's literally just team of five shoots a bunch of dinosaurs. And you're all wearing cool exosuits, and it's really fun. We'll reconvene at the appointed time by the. Oh, Kave would love. Yeah, Kave is 100% an out. Animal Crossing player. Um, so since you were happy to give us this merchant's information, does that mean you can tell us exactly what we're after? Who's my main on Exo? Um, I play a lot of uh, Roadblock and uh, Skywave. You were willing to part with 500,000 Mora for something and you didn't even know what it was? <laughs> okay. Well, if you truly are as skilled as you claim, then you can beat the answer out of them when they become hostile. <laughs> when, they're, when their flags switch over to enemy flags, then you can actually deal damage to them. Look, if you've been making inquiries, then you have to know something by now. Tell me what you know so far. So I don't waste time repeating information. Latham would play StarCraft, yeah. We know it's connected to the academia somehow, and that not only do the Aramites deal in it, but some students want to get a hold of it too. Hmm, what else? It seems like some kind of knowledge. You know almost everything there is to know, but you're unable to compile this information because you've never seen the object before. This is what you've been looking for. Holy shit, that's one big weed rock, Alhatham. Huh? I don't can't tell what it is. It Staff, welcome like back. Thank you so much for three months. Ornament. This is a knowledge capsule. To put it simply, it's a vessel that can store a fixed quantity of canned knowledge. It's like a miniature Akasha. A... <laughs> A knowledge capsule? Is that is that what the kids are calling it these days? Knowledge It really is just a USB. Canned Wow, they have it! Canned knowledge. Anyone who links it to their personal Akasha terminal instantly becomes privy to its contents. Correct. Anyone. Unlike the Akasha, which heavily regulates who can access what information, <laughs> knowledge capsules can further contents without any requisites. That's amazing. That's amazing. It's essentially a convenient and harmless vestibule for knowledge. Unfortunately, it's illegal in Sumeru to privately possess or trade them. They were created as a means for scholars to transfer knowledge gained from Ermin Soul into the Akasha and are intended to be destroyed immediately after use. Okay, so with these things, you can you can like upload, you can just load one of these things. Uh Gabrielle Ju, thank you so much for your tier 1 sub. Um you can load one of these things with whatever knowledge you want and like people can can absorb that knowledge. Is that how that works? And good night Shimorin, thank you so much for coming by. 
They're reusable, okay. I don't want, like, any further explanation. Like, I just want, like, to know th if that's how it works. Like, I can... If I wanted to upload the entire, uh, all of, uh, Kingdom Hearts' lore to a knowledge capsule, um, can I, like, g do that and then give it to somebody else and then they download it? And then they're like, oh, wow. Every character really is Sora and every other character is Xehanort. Thank you so much for the bits, guys. Uh, and the Whisper777, thank you so much for the two months. Sailor Mary, thank you for 100 bitties. And Code Purple, thank you for 100 bitties. FNAF lore knowledge capsule? Oh, dude, I don't think I don't think it would fit in one knowledge capsule. I'm so curious to know, like, the, the, the physics of it. Like, how, how much knowledge is too much knowledge for the capsule? Like, I think Kingdom Hearts lore would be too much for one knowledge capsule. But despite strict regulations, some of these knowledge capsules will always escape destruction. After all, 100 megabytes. there will always be those in this world who are dissatisfied with life as designed for them by the Akasha and wish to change their fate. And how does, how does that knowledge get transferred to your brain? Do you just, like, hear... Like, if I recorded all of the Kingdom Hearts lore, and do you just hear my voice being like, Okay, so, um, the thing about nobodies is that when somebody has a strong heart uh, and they get defeated, uh, their body splits off and becomes a nobody while their heart becomes a heartless. Like, is it? Oh, okay. It's a memory. Okay. It's a podcast. <laughs> it's a podcast that you experience really quickly. Okay. Um, anime Gina, anime Gina Linetti, thank you so much for gifting us up to Kuro Kumos. Really appreciate it. Uh, thank you, Skyvelis, for the 13 bits and Deluxe Piss Bottle. Thank you for subscribing. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna comment on that one. Thank you for your sub. Over the past century, a wide variety of canned knowledge has been leaked from the academia. Now. In Port Ormos, the valuable ones are a means to Mora for the Aramites. Meanwhile, those which the Aramites deem to be useless to them occasionally prove useful to the common citizens and hapless academia students. This is already so much more interesting than Inazuma. Like, this was... This is really cool. Like, the whole idea of the Akasha and, like, the knowledge capsules and everything. Already, I'm like, this is all so much more interesting than than everything that's happened uh, so far in the other regions. Uh, Leafy Sea Dragon, thank you so much for your Prime sub. Like, just the setup of this uh, this part of the story is really cool. There's a lot of interesting things they could do with these these elements. Well, I think that about sums it up. Uh, seems like it's a knowledge capsule. Oh, so that's your true objective. I want to learn more about it. With our current arrangement, I don't believe I can offer an answer. What do I have to do? <sighs> You're still resolved. Fine. Let's talk somewhere with fewer people. Let's take to the shadows, traveler. Go to Alhatham to a more secluded spot to continue your conversation. Yo, this is looking kind of sus. Truck Chen! Thank you so much for raiding. Welcome, uh, Truck Fam. The the Trucusi raid. Can I get a, a, a shout out to oh, okay there we go. To Truck Chan. Welcome, guys. Hey Truck. What were you playing before? It doesn't tell me on, on OBS. Let's continue our conversation here. If you wish to learn more about the knowledge capsule that the academia lost, then you must help me. Big with deck Balmaceda. Unfortunately, yes, it is. It is me. Pisco? I do have many Magic: The Gathering cards in my deck. Clean one four three. Thank you so much for the biddy. Dupreka twenty eight. Thank you so much for the two one sub. Really appreciate it. Oh my god, you guys start another hype chain? You need to stop. 
Jeez. But yeah, thank you so much for raiding, guys. Uh, for any new people, hi. Uh, I'm Ben Blama something. Um, I do voice thing. I voice a, a couple of characters. Yeah. That's basically it. Um, I've, I've been good! American Truck Sim. <laughs> I should have figured. I should have figured you were playing something truck related. But yeah, no, seriously, I'm Ben Balmaceda. I'm a voice actor. I voice Kave in Let's this go. video game that I'm playing right now. Um, my favorite color is orange. I'm a Capricorn. Uh, my favorite word is brave. Um, it's uh, it's good stuff. So, so it's, it's 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 all it's all fun fun. It's I I've, I've been told that I'm pretty pretty good at talking, and I get paid for it. And I don't eat cabbage raw. Uh, Cherish, thank you so much for the prime sub. Skyless, thank you so much for the 23 biddies. What's my favorite juice flavor? What's my favorite juice flavor? Um, I mean, orange juice is pretty good. Like, yeah, or, or, you know what, yeah, berries, mixed berries is pretty good. Uh, without pulp, of course. I need you to find someone named Dory, a traveling merchant. <gasps> Name drop! Unlike the peddlers who hawk inferior knowledge capsules, she often has quality goods in stock. Some say that as long as there is profit to be made, there is nothing she won't dare to sell. Juzo, thank you for stopping by. Yes, it is Ben M.F. Balmaceda. I don't know what MF stands for. I'm sure it's something nice. She's guarded against people from the academia like, because most mighty friendly. don't comply with academia regulations. I think she blacklisted me. I met with her in <laughs> get blacklisted nerd. It became clear that they had no intention of letting me get any further. Become one of Dory's customers and earn her trust. This is my condition for further. <laughs> ben, my friend Balmaceda. <laughs> Until you complete this task, you don't have question privileges. Moms love Ben Palmaceda. <laughs> Nine out of ten doctors recommend Ben Palmaceda. You two are outlanders who haven't been here for long, so Dory should view you as safe clients. I'll give you the informant's address and their contact password. The contact password. Beyond the password, though, I have no way of knowing what other tricks she might have up her sleeve. You'll have to improvise. The password is one word, all lowercase, four words, all uppercase. I'm sorry, could you repeat that again, Alhethan? It's one word, all lowercase, four words, all uppercase. Uh, this is kind of nerve-wracking. The true challenge begins after you meet her. She has a keen nose for Mora and a shrewd eye for wares, and she only likes customers who she deems to have good taste. No, it's it's four words, all uppercase, one word, all lowercase. No, you guys aren't getting it. It's it's, it's the easiest password in the world. It's one word, all uppercase. No, one word, all lowercase. Four words. All uppercase. Guys, it shouldn't be that difficult for you to write it down. It's not one word, four words. It's one word, all lowercase, four words, all uppercase. <laughs> Why are you saying one word, four words? <laughs> Okay, Ellery, Ellery Celery got it. It's one word, all lowercase, four words, all uppercase. I'll prepare some funds for you. Buy her highest quality wares and earn her approval. <laughs> so I'm just like, word, 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 word. <laughs> 
that's unironically a great uh great password word 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 That's true. Have you two heard of Elemental Sight? Oh, of course we have. I'll hate them. Oh, that's a surprise. I guess I'll have to hold you in higher regard. Anyway, that ability should resolve your issue. Oh, I guess I should not think you're a stupid little man. Anyway, bye. Here are two knowledge capsules. Oh no, he's still here. Tell me, can you detect any difference in their quality? Um. Um. They look the same to my mind. Try inspecting them with elemental sight. Is it gonna push? Okay, I thought it was gonna push me out into gameplay. How'd it go? Did you see anything? The one on the left shines brighter. Rumor has it that higher quality knowledge capsules generally appear brighter when viewed through elemental sight. Okay, here's something that I didn't really understand. How? How rare is Elemental Sight as an ability? Because, um... Only for Vision users? Okay, I guess it would make sense for only Vision holders. That's because knowledge originates from Ermansoul, the root of Dendro Power itself. The more powerful the knowledge, the richer it is in dendro energy. However, some can knowledge with a high concentration of elemental energy. Ah, uh, okay, so times. so those capsules are of little. Dendro power. power comes from knowledge, and the more knowledge you have, the more powerful your dendro. Uh, so that means that every single five-star dendro character is a fucking nerd. Yeah, no wonder Kavi's a four star then. Using elemental sight is merely a stopgap measure, but it should suffice for earning Dory's trust. Kave is a four star dendro, but he would be a five star hydro. That sounds pretty impressive. Here's a sheet with the informant's location and contact password, and here is the more or a five star pyro. I would say as well. Don't be cheap. I'm using I'm using um. Nilu as a as a keep it. as a as a waypoint here. Oh, and be sure to exercise some caution. There have been mantra present in Port Ormos lately. Your efforts will be for naught if they catch you. No, I'm not saying that Kave isn't dumb. He just isn't as smart as as the other five stars. Matra? He's he's emotionally smart. He's not body. book smart. They also handle cases well, he is book smart, but not as. Uh, you know what the fuck like I mean. I said, the academia has banned both their trade and possession. The mantra are razor sharp. You're in for nothing good if they lock their sights onto you. If you two want to back out, now's the time. He's smart. They're all smart. This is a country of smart people. Okay, then we have a deal. If you succeed in your dealings with Dory, come find me at the Wikela Funduk. We'll have an open discussion then. The Funduk? Looking at what I'll hate the most, Dory's informant is a traitor near Old Ormos. Let's follow these instructions and try to get in contact. Yeah, he's smart but naive. Hello. What are you two looking to buy? High int, low wisdom. What a unique palette. We have unripe horror fruits, but we usually keep them in the back. And, uh... I'll have someone escort you. I didn't read the password? Oh, shit. Following the paper got us past the first round. <laughs> Ronok, these two want to buy unripe horror fruits. Sh got it. You two, please follow me. Oh, boy. Well, I guess we're going to have to chance... Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. Not this time, Mr. Man. 
Uh, where is it? Check the code chart. Special commodities? Hold on. Let me think. Sumeru Rose means common merch. Um, no. Look again. We're obviously wearing morning clothes. Oh, it has a read button? Oh, for fuck's sake. I hate the UI in this game sometimes. Uh, unripe horror fruits. Uh, taken by mice. Looking to buy products legally available on the market. Pack in Port Ormo style. Complimenting a customer of skill corresponds to a hard food that causes it. Okay. All right. Cool. I'll just wing it. Ah, my mistake. I do apologize. <sighs> that pop quiz sure was scary. Ah, the warehouse is up ahead. Please follow me. It's not as funny if I just know all the answers. This is the only way I can move slowly enough for this NPC to fucking... I gotta shuffle. <laughs> Before I retrieve your products, I need to confirm a few things. Oh, he's got a trust gauge now. Uh, please forgive me, but we may not have sufficient stock for you today. Earlier, many of our Hara fruits were taken by mice. Ooh. Uh, congrats. <laughs> Thanks. If better goods come in. Don't tell me the answers, chat. You look like you have some skill. Why don't I pick out some fruits that'll make you dizzy? Um, I prefer something that uh causes heat stroke. No, that's not it. Oh, fuck. Paper said that heat stroke is the answer to irrigation. Ah, uh, I'm sorry, but as things. He's cautious of us. Okay. I, okay. It just puts you right in the before it. Okay. All right. All right. Before I retrieve your, uh, please. Yep. 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 Have sufficient stock for you today. Earlier, many of our Hara fruits were taken by. <laughs> that you look like you have some skill. Why don't I pick out some fruits that'll make you dizzy? Yep. That's the right answer. But eating Hara fruit that makes your head and ears ring sounds like a bad life decision. This code. Language that they're talking is just really silly. Like, oh, uh, what if I killed you? Oh, the paper says that getting killed means uh, take me out to dinner. Would you like your Hara fruits to be packaged in the Sumeru City or Port Ormo style? Um, Sumeru City is the is. I think Port Ormo was a lot, right? I want a lot of them. Wow. You two sure are generous customers. We'll be sure to package your products beautifully. Okay. Everything has been confirmed. Miss Dory is waiting for you up at... Shoot! It's the Matra! Run! Um, actually, that's not the code word for Matra. It's whatever, Tiger. What? The Matra? Where? Oh, hey, them zebra jump if they catch us! We gotta get out of here! Uh, Paimon, uh, this, this guy is not trustworthy. He didn't say the code word. Flee together with Ronak. Why? He didn't say the code word. Excuse me. Rish Rishboland Tiger. He ran that way. The tigers are coming. The tigers are coming. It's the fuzz. It's the one time. Hide the weed. Play it cool, guys. It's the lions that are gonna fight the sun. Good night, Lil Lily Otter. Thank you for stopping by. Hey, if you're hiding from the Rishbalan tiger, come this way. 
Another password. Huh? Yeah, okay. Yeah, See, Dory said it. Here, over here. You can stop running now. I knew it was I knew it was her. I I, I recognize Anjali's voice too too well. Clap clap clap. So you were the one who was calling out to us just now. But uh are we definitely gonna be safe here? These two good customers wish Peace to out, Benny Bond. Thank you for coming by. Story. And if there's nothing else, I'll just excuse myself. Oh, very good. Thank you. Huh? Do I have any Wait. beef with Dory? Hi, Dory? I'm unsure thought you'd look a whole lot scarier. I feel like it'd be really exhausting to get upset at fictional characters. Um, so no. I don't have... I don't have beef. I think she's a really entertaining character. Like, I think she's legitimately, like, a lot of fun. Hey, what are you trying to say, Princess Peabrain? I can be scary enough when I need to be, believe you me. If you don't watch what you say, then you can forget about doing any business. I think... I think the, the problem that a lot of these games, like, ga uh, gotcha games tend to have is that all the playables are, like, too nice. So I kind of like having characters that are just, like, not really all that nice. I like some- I like some- some more, uh, some more morally gray characters. Instead of just good guys, all the way down. But it seems you two have actually done pretty well so far. Not only did you manage to find the informant, your reactions were also pretty sharp. You don't really look like criminals or anything. But I bet my Mora that you've been involved in some shady dealings, haven't you? Like, yeah, it's funny how, yeah, some, you guys have mentioned it, but, like, all the assholes of the game have been introduced in this region, so I think they realized, like, wait, we should probably not always have just goody-goody two-shoes everywhere, and maybe we should have a bit more, uh, some more dynamics in, uh, in the playables. Some people who aren't just good, good, nice people all the time. And, like, Child is, is, I feel like Child is overly nice. Like, I feel like he's more, I didn't really get the asshole vibes all that much from Child. He did try to burn down a nation, but, like, he was always pleasant. I kind of want somebody who's just unpleasant. And, like, Wanderer does kind of fit that. Uh, I'm not sure if that's supposed to be a compliment, but we'll take it. I just kind of, I want like Wario, you know? I want just like, I just want a, a ugly bastard in this game as a playable. I can't risk doing business with people who start hopping and puffing after just a few paces. No matter how much more they might have. Not only will they get caught by the Matra, but they'll also get us into trouble. As decent folks trying to run an honest business. We don't need any of that. Wouldn't you agree? Because, like, we're... These are all, like, really aesthetically pleasing and, and, so and like, well-designed characters. I just want a fugly-ass dude. Angel Midnight, thank you so much for four months of subs. Really appreciate you. I just want this ugly-ass dude, and I want him to be, like, meta. <laughs> so everybody has to use him. It's your first time here, but don't worry. I won't ask too many questions. Even if you wish to buy enough knowledge capsules to decorate your house with, please knock yourself out. I want a team of supermodels and then fucking Wario. Weeping aha. Thank you so much for your prime sub. As long as you have lots of round shiny mora, then we're all good. Is Pulcinella the um the old dude? Okay, then yeah. If if he happens to be playable, then I would like to play him. Heimerdinger man, yeah. Wow. She has a troll of hand knowledge. She'd probably be in I know I know that for a fact that Capitano is going to be dramatically unmasked and he's going to be the most beautiful man in existence. I can I can already see it happening. What kind of products do you see? My dear customers, uh, don't worry, I'm not interested in your reasons for buying. 
I can, however, offer some suggestions. Probablemente sí voy a seguir uh, estremeando cuando salga Fontaine, pero um, no sé por cuánto. I just want more of my friends to be in this game so I can pull for them. Um, that's not to say like the the announced cast. Like I'm I'm happy that uh, the the Fontaine cast right now is looking really cool. Like it's it's great, and I'm definitely going to be pulling for um, uh, Lynette. Uh, because Anaris is a good friend. Uh, but also, uh, for, um, for example, the underwater, underwater kid, uh, because of, uh, because Paul Castro Jr. was kind enough to have me on his interview, and I really want to repay the favor by Fremine, yes. I play for my friends more than for myself. The architectural styles and construction methods up to that in the early Archon War period. Yo, is that a Cave reference? With this one, you can become an expert in historic architecture preservation and find an excellent, well paying job in nearly any nation. Ooh, now this sounds like it could be useful. Two million Mora, and it's yours. No discounts. Um, like, Ray Chase is a fantastic actor. Um, but I, I don't know him. He's not my friend. So I, I don't really want to pull for him. <laughs> Whoa, that's a lot of Mora! Of course, you are free to pick whatever your hearts desire. The contents and price of each knowledge capsule are indicated in small text on the body of each one, down at the bottom. Yeah, Anjali does such a good job with this character. I hate the mention. Detective mode enabled. This one. And this one. And this one. Ah, you've really got a good head on your shoulders. And quite the eye for quality. Can't knowledge. Here, take these, please and thank you. Is it just because the game way quieter? Is there no music in this part? My oh my, you are blessed with the taste for both the exquisite and the extravagant. Customers like you are a rare breed. One in a hundred. No, go one in a thousand even. There's supposed to be music? Hmm. Listen, I have a special offer for you two. If you spend just 100,000 more and more, you can pick any knowledge capsule of your choice up to a value of one million, Mora. Say what now? <laughs> hey, did you hear that? Spend another hundred K and we get a capsule worth a whole million. This is how they get you, Paimon. Look, all the can knowledge we just bought is easily worth half a million, Mora. If we spend We're not spending more money on Kingdom Hearts lore, okay? It's just not how we can't understand that series, Paimon. Think about it. We've gone to all this trouble to get this can knowledge. And so far, everything we've bought belongs to all Haytham. Aren't you even the least bit curious about how this whole can knowledge thing works? We're talking instant knowledge here. Don't you want to try it yourself? You just want to see me try it. Come on, come on. We still have around 100,000 of our Haytham's more left. So let's put it to good use. Fine, we'll we'll buy the Undertale lore uh, capsule. We'd like to spend an extra excellent. And then please select from this fine collection of canned knowledge over here. Uh, hold on a second. I thought we could choose whatever we wanted. Why can't we choose the ones from over there? Oh, but my dear customer, the knowledge capsules over here are worth one million more each. I'm sure discerning customers like yourselves will be able to find something to your liking. Yeah, I did see the Organization 13 takeover. Um, that was the one good thing to come out of the stupid rename thing. Uh oh, Paimon has a bad feeling about this. Let's 
use elemental sight again to check these. All right, I'll have a look. I'm gonna be. I'll. I'll wrap things up after this. Uh, this cutscene. So, what did you see? These are all cringe. So they're all worth about the same amount. Hey, what's up? <laughs> it went right over the traveler's face. I thought something was going to happen, like he, he put his hand to his head and then, hey, what's up? <laughs> this time on Take a Look Here, an introduction to traditional Sumeru brewing techniques, the art of growing spices, an overview of ancient runes. Oh, how about this one? Sword Fighting Techniques 8. I haven't seen Sword Fighting Techniques 1 through 7, so I don't know what the lore would be. Not sure we'd ever find volumes 1 through 7, but at least this knowledge should be useful, right? Whatever Let's makes you happy. One. Dory, we'll take this one. All right, very good. I'm expecting some new goods in the next couple days, so be sure to check back again soon. Whether it's canned knowledge or anything else you need, bring your Mora to Dory and doors will open. God, Anjali did okay, such a great job. Dory went smoothly enough. Let's head to Wakala Funduk and meet up with all Hatham. Hopefully now he'll finally tell us about what the Academia lost. Okay. Um, I'm, I am realize that I haven't eaten anything all day because my appetite's kind of been gone because of the whole visa thing causing me a bit of stress. Uh, and that stress just kills my appetite a lot of the time. And my stomach is just like, bro, we haven't eaten all day. We feel kind of shit. So I might call it here for now, gamers. Um, but yeah, let's uh, let's start wrapping it up. We I think we gotta. How far am I from uh, the end of this chapter? Uh, the the first act or whatever. Yeah, I know I'm gonna go get food, guys. Relax. I know I'm gonna get food. It's gonna be it's gonna be fine. Not too far. How, how many, like, uh, do you think I, I'll probably get it done next stream? Um, not sure, but please. I'm gonna eat, guys! I will! I'm, I'm already loading up a, 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 a delicious meal on Grubhub. Um. So, yeah. Um. I don't know when I'm going to stream next. As I said, uh, next week I'm going to be in Italy for uh, ideally two weeks. Um, there's a chance I'm going to be in Italy for three weeks or more. It all depends. Um, we'll see how it goes with my visa stuff. Hopefully it goes well. Uh, hopefully I even get to go. There's a chance I might have to cancel the trip and... Ugh. I hope it doesn't come to that. Um, so yeah, well, let's look for somebody to 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 raid. Thank you again so much for everybody that subbed, that followed, uh, that came by to hang out. This was a lot of fun. It was a little more chill, in my opinion. Maybe not. I might have just misremembered. Um. So yeah, we'll go ahead and. Uh, oh, Jonah's streaming. Excuse me. <clears throat> Uh, Alpha Anarchy is streaming. Let's go ahead and raid Jonah slash Alpha Anarchy. Anarchy. Yeah, the lions and the four-year-olds were pretty wild. You were correct. Um, but yeah, thanks again for the stream, guys. I'll tweet out when the next one happens. It'll probably happen after my trip, before my move. And good night, y'all. Lots of love. Mwah. Big kisses. Mwah. Go, go to Jonah.